Hey, this is Travis Jordan from AirForceShooter.com, and today we'll be taking a look at this $80 ABU messenger bag from MilitaryLuggage.com. So first off, let's take a look at the outside of the bag. The length of the bag is 17 inches, the width is 5, and the height is about 12. Now, I think it's, it's, a, it's a large bag. I'm a large guy, so it works out. But it, if you're looking for a, a small, slender computer bag, this wouldn't be the choice. If you're looking for something hardy or rugged for your laptop, this would probably be suited best for you. On the outside of the bag, we see that we have three Molly pouches, an ABU pattern, of course. And these Molly pouches, like the name Molly suggests, have the Molly webbing. They're able to come right off. And then you can use these pouches for any other type of gear. So you can put it on, you can put it on a vest, a Kevlar vest. You can put it on a bag that has Molly webbing. But I think that's a great feature this bag has because as you can tell, it's pretty bulky. But if you take these pouches off, it's a lot more slender. So we just looked at the three pouches on the front, but there's also a spot for your name tape right here. It didn't come with my name, Jordan, but you can put anything there. You can put your name or your branch, or you could just leave it empty. But that's something you're gonna have to order separately. So on the outside, we have lots of hooks. We have the two hooks to get to the main compartment here. We also have lots of other hooks and fasteners. If we take a look at the inside of the bag. We have a main accessory compartment that's gonna be open with these two zippers. It also has fasteners on the side here. This Velcro can be taken off, which allows us to really open up this compartment all the way. We can get a complete view of the inside. So of course you have lots of different panels and pockets, pens, you have a belt, you have a mesh zipper compartment here. This one I find best, it works really well for a cell phone. Of course your pens, you also have two pockets right here. You can put, this is probably the best spot for paperwork, documents. ID panel. And then this is another mesh panel right here. And of course, the one feature I probably will never use, maybe some of you will, the hook. Let's take a look now at the main laptop compartment. I think this is the, the big draw of this type of bag. If you're going to get a messenger bag, it should be for your laptop. So this bag, it's built like Fort Knox for a laptop. Okay? If you want your laptop to never get any damage when the bag's being placed down, this is the way to go because this is a bag within a bag. This right here is the carrying case for your laptop. I'm not sure when you'd actually want to be carrying this around without the ABU bag, but it's got extremely, extremely strong Velcro. For me, I hope it breaks in a little bit because it's too strong. But if you have any type of laptop of any size, really, because this is a large bag, I think this is a large laptop. It's still got plenty of room. You put your bag within this bag again. Zip it up. Your laptop is not going anywhere. So this flap, if we flip it back to the front, turn this bag around. You also have one remaining pocket on the rear. And this, I actually thought this was gonna be a really great pocket for paperwork, but unfortunately, it's just a little too short. So that's one thing I would change about this bag. But for me, when I'm on the go and I need to quickly put something in there, I just drop it in this back pocket. A few more things that are worth mentioning about this bag. The handle itself, I think is an excellent handle. I have a lot of other ABU bags and they all seem to have the code alpha handle and I think it's it's sturdy enough this is gonna be heavy this bag itself is heavy um, it's gonna have a lot of heavy equipment in it so a, a sturdy handle is necessary the strap for carrying it it's got a nice comfortable rubber piece right here and I thought as a bag to be carried when you carry it it does not squeak the strap itself, even though it's got plastic parts, it does not make any noise when being carried. As I mentioned earlier, I spent the last week working with this bag. I've enjoyed it. I've been in two different environments and I thought it was exceptional in both. There's a few positives, a few negatives for each, but overall when I was in ROTC for the Air Force or when I was in my MBA classes, 
the bag worked out well. When I was in ROTC, everyone's wearing the ABU pattern already, so it looked like it fit in. The bag itself, like I mentioned, is big, but being a bigger person, I'm 6'4", it works with my size. I was able to carry all the necessities I need for the training environment, for which for me with the Air Force ROTC, it's a computer, it's your, it's your, it's your books, paperwork, pens, pencils. So that, that was to my advantage. This bag worked out well. When I was in my MBA classes, I still need the same thing, a laptop, my books. This case is able to do that. This bag is able to do that without any problems. Now, when I was in my MBA classes, some people wear business suits, some people dress more casual. If you're gonna be casual or if you're gonna be in uniform, this bag will work out. If you're gonna be in a business suit, you're gonna have to change the color. Military Luggage, they've made a great product. This is a great messenger bag and I would recommend it to any friend, colleague, airman, anyone who needs a messenger bag for their laptop, this'll do. Check out airforcegear.com for new blog posts and product reviews every Tactical Tuesday.